Welcome to Learn Automotive. In this video, I am going to give an explanation on what exactly the ADAS is, active safety and passive safety. So before understanding the concepts, like before you start learn about the ADAS or active safety or passive safety, just understand where exactly it has been used and what are the relation between all these. All right. So first, let's start with just assume this is a vehicle. OK, just start with the vehicle. This is a car. This is a, so keep on moving some normal driving. So here for make you understand, I'll just give you five different phases on driving. OK, phases is nothing but like, say, for example, when you are driving, you are meet with some some challenges. All right. So not you. The car is met with some challenge. So that is what I'm just uh, classifying as a phases. The, there are five phases. The first phase is normal driving. The second phase is warning the third phase is a danger zone or before accident then the fourth phase is the accident and the fifth one is post accident so these are all the five different phases so the reason behind why you have to understand these five different phases is see in the first phase that is a normal driving right so in normal driving there is nothing see uh, uh, there is no use of any of the uh, ADAS feature or active safety feature or passive safety feature or any other technology like if, if it is like zero it's like a level zero autonomous right so there is no autonomous so this is a uh, normal driving even though in normal driving yes you can activate your cruise control or uh, if there is on a hill it is a hill hole so that is a different but just assume in the in the phase one there is no dependency of any any of the assistance right so you you have a, a well equipped your accelerator pedal your your gear there is no autonomous uh, no automatic gears completely a manual so it's a phase one the normal driving and the phase two is see the car is still moving and the phase two is it's getting some warning there is some indication so there adas is comes into picture in the phase two adas has been used say what kind of warning it, it can it may see uh see just we are telling simply the vehicle or the car we just will give a name as sir ego car okay so the name of this car is ego car right so it's not not i'm not i'm not naming the car as a ego car so the name uh, when you are start learn about the adas technology so you have to assume the car is ego car right the the car which has the technology has been exist that is uh, called an ego car or an ego vehicle right so the ego vehicle is going and uh, the ego vehicle has seen the particular in the particular range there is another vehicle you can name it as a preceding vehicle or you can name it as an obstacle vehicle or you can name it as a you know merging vehicle okay so merging vehicle is something that is coming away from you okay means um, uh, there's a kind of t road and uh, if there's any car comes so those we'll see later uh, now you just assume the 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 preceding to the uh, ego vehicle the vehicle is called obstacle vehicle so the ego vehicle has finds there is the obstacle vehicle so what it has to do so the acc that is adaptive cruise control technology will give the warning to the driver so that is all about the phase two in phase two the driver will get some you know, uh, notification or some warning so it may be the visual warning or it may be the you know sound warning there is a hearing aid or it may be the haptic warning so any of the warning may happens so after this what will happen uh, the face even though the driver is not ready to listen to the warning or is not obeying the you know the adas uh, notification what happens the phase three has comes into picture that is see is he the ego vehicle is going near to the obstacle vehicle so that is a danger zone or the the accident is a pre-accidental zone right so if the vehicle is going still further the accident may happen so that is all about the uh, phase three uh, in the phase three what happens is it's a danger zone okay so in danger zone what will happen is see in phase two we have the uh, activation of the ADAS even in the phase three we have the ADAS activation that is it will still it will give you more warnings like the more sound or the sound will the for uh, every seconds there will be some uh, three to four times the beep sound will comes and it, it may disturbs the driver to slow down or something these are all the things may happen this is all about in the uh, phase three all right so again ADAS so in ADAS has been existing in phase two as well as phase three all right so 
again in the, in the phase 3 it's not only adas see for adaptive cruise control is not only added with the adas so there is a dependency with the active safety as well because we need we need the help of the braking ecus like abs or esp ecu so their phase 3 the adas and active safety together will act and will try to slow down the vehicle all right so what i what i try to mean is like before acc adaptive cruise, cruise control there will be a warning the warning will makes the driver to slow down so if the driver is not ready to slow down what happens is the adaptive cruise control will comes into picture and it will slow down the vehicle by making the active safety comes into the picture active safety is a thing that is see if you want the definition about active safety or passive safety you can just uh, you know go through or uh, you can serve you can get the direct answer just here try to understand so in the phase 3 the active safety start to work so it will slow down the vehicle okay so in phase 2 completely adas in phase 3 adas it takes around 10 percentage and the 90 percentage will comes into active safety so the active safety will try to slow down even still uh, it will slow down but it will not uh, completely save god the people right so it uh, if the even even though after uh, slow down the vehicle the driver keeps on giving accelerating then what will happen is the uh, acc will cancel and it will hit the vehicle so that is all about the phase 4 so in phase 4 it is a accident so after accident what will happen see uh, in phase 1 it is a normal driving condition in phase 2 it's a just a no a warning you are getting a warning and in the phase 3 it's a danger zone or the pre accident zone then in phase 4 what happened is it's hit it, the the ego vehicle and the obstacle vehicle met with an accident right so it hit the the ego vehicle hits the uh, obstacle vehicle so what happened is the phase 4 the accident happens after immediately the uh, accident happens what will happen uh, the airbag starts to open then the seat belt will become tightened also the you know the cramp is on that the zone that will comes into the next video that's really interesting concept that we'll see in the next video right in the passive safety i can give right now i can give two examples one is the seat belt another one is the airbag so after accident the airbag and the seat belt opens so these two uh, rely on the passive safety so it's nothing but the, after the safety that happens after the accidents to minimize or to reduce the impact of the accident. So this is all about the phase four. In phase four, the passive safety will work. All right. Then the phase five, the post accident. So post accident, what may be the post accident? Again, it may be the reduction for the, uh, you know, the environmental hazards. Again, it comes under the passive safety. But even ADAS also come, uh, nowadays the ADAS technology also brings to uh, play their role in post accidents, like to capturing the images, like uh, uh, it's a kind of a black box or it's a, it's a VDC, like the video device recorder. So VDR, we have a different terminology with different OEMs, okay? So you can just uh, black box in the car. If you type, or if you search a uh, black box in a car you will get a number of things like vdr video uh, device recorder or that is the sort i'm telling so but the com uh, the concept is uh, at the time of accident happens what or, 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 or the camera the the black box camera will just enabling will start to record the camera to check where exactly the problem happens because to raise the insurance or uh, to uh, if there is any uh, any you know legal cases to handle those the videos will really helpful so this is all about the post that is the phase five post accidents right so there also passive safety is there so passive safety is uh, is, is not to minimize it's to record that is the adas that is a phase five adas is there then in the phase that at the time of accident again the passive safety that is phase four so i'll just give you very short recall okay so uh, because of uh, so many uh, you know the top topics it may get confused again i'll just give you the very short summary about from the beginning the phase one is a normal driving so there nothing no technologies phase two it's a warning there is a uh, it's a adas all right so adas is giving you the um, warning the phase three is adas more with active safety or you can consider only the active safety okay so the phase three is active safety. the phase four it's accident zone right so there's a passive safety and again phase five is a advancement with adas maybe with passive safety all right so this is all about the different phases of the driving in these different phases what is happening all these technology so now we can easily understand so if you are working with adas you can come to know you are working with the phase two if you work with the working on the active safety you are working with the the phase three that is the before accident again the phase four is passive safety there 
the accident after accident or the time of accident and the phase five is again the advancement with the adas and even the passive safety and the next video i'll just uh, go with the the zones a crampy zone that is uh this you have to understand what exactly because uh we have the intention or we if you just to see the crash test of the vehicle you may think why the car's uh, body is so weaker so it's not weaker the weaker the body is the safer for the drivers and passengers that's all about the next video and uh, yes and that's all about this video if you like this video you can hit a like and if you have any comments you can leave and we'll get back to you in the next video until then bye take care